last 14 days have been such a phenomenal run, particularly after three years, we had the first Tamil Samyama. Samyama is not just another program, it's a phenomena. Because it's such a phenomena, we have set up a completely different kind of structure and a process for this. For all of you who do not know, all the advanced aspects of spiritual process offered at Isha are never charged for, not even for the food and stay, only for the early programs there is a charge because it's hard to get people's commitment without payments. But Samyama is that kind of phenomena where people intensely involve themselves beyond all these things that normally limits a human being. So these eight days of Samyama for the Tamil people, as I said after three years, was a big roar and I've been making efforts to see how to set up systems and methods so that the very process, the very phenomena can roar by itself without my involvement. Not fully successful, <laughs> but I think we're figuring out ways as to how to do it in future. In the middle of Samyama, which I never have done till now, that I won't leave the Samyama for a moment. So we took on this engagement of Global Business Summit in Delhi. So I flew out just for a day, did the event and came back. Global Business Summit is an Economic Times event where the Prime Minister, Finance Minister and various global leaders, all of them participating, business leaders. The significance of going to these summits is, this is the first time, this is the very first time that such summits, which are essentially business events, are looking for a spiritual process. This is a very positive sign that business leaders who are generally focused only on economic well-being, about profit making and wealth generation, are very much interested in the inner well-being of their own self and also on the inner well-being of the people who work for the companies and their customers, which is a phenomenal shift in the way the world is beginning to operate. This is the coming of a new age, the golden era for a spiritual process is just beginning because now academics, scientists, business leaders, political leaders, all of them are seeking this process. As a part of this now, I'm speaking to the Howard alumni. Now the Fiki flow is here in the ashram, tomorrow I'm addressing them. I'm also having a conversation with all the uh, doctors in the Harvard Medical School. I have a talk at uh, Stanford Medical College in uh, April. So all these things coming up now, and it has been happening for the last few years, but it's picked up momentum now. And this is very important, medical schools, scientific community, and uh, the British Science Museum, and the universities, and the business houses, and business summits are looking for spiritual process. This is a great opening. This is the first time the world has, is becoming like this. It is once again time. There was a time in this country it was so. It is once again time we bring a spiritual process into every human being's life. Not a spiritual teaching, not a belief system, not a new cult or not a new religion, but a spiritual process, a method, a scientific process for inner well-being of the human being. Now all dimensions of the society, different strata of society is opening up to this possibility. This is the time that we have a responsibility to deliver this possibility in at most integrity and cleanliness of delivery. Why I'm saying this is because the religious and spiritual processes around the world have taken on a very Bad note for a lot of people, today it's almost become like if you say something spiritual, there must be something wrong with it. So it's important to establish this integrity. In Atisha, this has been the effort. Last 36 years, we have strived to create a very strong sense of integrity in the people who transmit this knowledge. And it is because of this that many doors have opened up today. And it is not about Isha, it is not about Sadhguru, 
it is just that there is a possibility that we can turn the world inward, which will be the only sustainable way to make this world grow. Right now, our idea of growth is in the form of accumulation. Somebody gathers lot of muscle, he's a big man, but that bigness makes sense only when others are all weak. Somebody gathers lot of money, he's a big man, that is, that works only when everybody else is poor. Somebody gathers lot of knowledge and he's a big man, that works only when everybody else is ignorant. So all these things which enhance a human being by accumulation is not real growth. It is in many ways seeking that other people do not grow and you're the only one who grows. If growth has to be universal, if growth is something that we must dispense to everybody, it is important that a human being grows in a multi-dimensional way. And our growth is not linked to what we accumulate, but what possibility or what immensity of existence we have become. These words may sound abstract right now, but there is a way to enhance the very life that we are. This is what we are focused on. This is the mission at Isha, to transform a human being from being a tiny piece of creation to the very source of creation, to exist here like you are the very source of creation because the source of creation has invested itself within ourselves to bring this as a live process, methodologies, technologies and ways to see that this finds expression. This is what this whole moment is about. In a way, it is within the human being that all the possibilities of this life exists and that is where it needs to be explored. So for this, individual responsibility is most important for what we are and what we are not right now. So this is essentially about moving people from belief systems, religiosity to responsibility. Blessings to all of you. Let's make this happen in this generation. Thank you very much.